Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon. Today we are going to step in the last chapter of the course uh, entitled the filter design. So you are going to apply the knowledge that you have learned in chapter 5, which are the transfer function, bot plot and filter response or frequency response in this chapter. So from the figure, you can see lots of lines which represent filter response of different types of filters. So there are many types of filters such as listed underneath the figure. So you can see that um, there's filter with ripples on top. Okay, so this is uh, this basically represents the low pass filter. Okay, you can see that the uh, bigger area for pass band and on the right hand side is the stop band. So you can see that different types of filter will be having a different response in the pass band and in the stop band. We discussed two types of filters, which are the uh, Shabby Chef and Butterworth. Okay, so Butterworth and Shabby Chef filter will be having different types of response. For example, in the transfer function itself, so the the first one shown is the transfer function for Butterworth filter. You can see that the constant one on top. Okay, constant one on top, and then at the bottom there's uh, s to the power of n, and is the filter or the number that you need to determine uh, before you can design a filter, and then series of a's. So a is basically the coefficients of polynomial polynomials of the filter. Okay, next is the transfer function for Chevy Chef. So in comparison with Butterworth, okay, Butterworth having constant one on top. However, for Chevy Chef, you have the uh, Kn. Okay, so Kn dependent on uh, the filter or the number, whether it is even or odd. If n is odd number, so uh, the uh, numerator will be a naught. Okay, this is the coefficients that you'll be getting those val uh, the values from the table. And if n is even number, so the kn represented by this equation. So all equations you can refer from the uh, filter char characteristic appendix or from the table. Okay, you don't have to memorize all the equations. Okay, let's look at the comparison between the Butterworth and Chebyshev. So the graph shown here is for Chevy Chef. We can see that the, the uh, frequency response of Chevy Chef filter having ripples at the pass band. Okay, it has the ripples at the pass band while it has fast roll off. Okay, the slope goes down quite significantly before it reaches the uh, stop band area. Okay, so the signal attenuates quite fast. Okay, if compared to Butterworth filter, it has flat top in pass band area. Okay, it is flat top. If compared to the Chevy Chef, it has ripples, but for Butterworth, it the pass band um, area having a flat top signal. Okay, flat top, and then they roll off. The signal drops down. To a bit slower or in steady state if compared to Chevy Chef filter okay before it reached the um, stop band all right so WP uh, Omega P representing the pass band frequency for C is for Chevy Chef while B is for Butterworth okay so uh, and then Omega S is a stop band frequency for Chevy Chef and Omega SB is the stop band frequency for Butterworth. Okay, if you look at the um, magnitude, uh, maximum magnitude, okay, so in this case it uses linear values and normally we'll be using a dB values, okay, so either it is in dB or in linear, but in this case it is in linear, okay, so the maximum amplitude of the filter is 1. And then alpha p is the pass band gain. Okay, in dB or in linear, but usually we will going uh, will be using the dB values. 
and 0 0.707 is equal to minus 3 dB. Okay, this is where the cutoff frequency takes place. Okay, so 0 0.707 or minus 3 dB where you can find the cutoff frequency. Okay, omega C. Same goes to the um, Butterworth filter at minus 3 dB. So you will be having your cutoff frequency. So this one is omega C for Butterworth. And the other one, Omega C for Chevichet. Alright. Um, and then at Omega S, at this top band frequency for both Butterworth and Chevichet, that's a um, stop band gain. Okay. So given by Alpha S. Alright. So... The main key point or the comparison between Chebyshev and Butteras in terms of first one is the ripples. Okay, if you see there's ripples in the passband area, so it belongs to Chebyshev. While Butteras, it is called flat top or no ripples at passband. Okay, and then fast roll off, meaning that the slope. Okay, look at the slope for Chevy Chef, it has fast or the gradient is very, or uh, the, 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 the slope is very narrow if compared to the Butterworth. Okay, fast, uh, steady and slow roll off. Okay, in terms of circuit generation, okay, Chevy Chef, much simpler while the Butterworth having a bit complex circuit generation and Chevichev is also known as equal ripple because it has ripples in the passband area while Butterworth is also known as maximally flat. Okay, let's look at the filter response for Chevichev. So again, Chevichev, it has ripples. So the ripples magnitude is given by A max and usually it's given in dB values. Okay, and if this is the linear value, so you can compare with um, dB values axis. So if it is 1 in linear, so it's 0 dB. And then alpha P, you have the gain in negative x dB. Okay, for alpha P, it the passband gain. And 0 0.707 is the cutoff area. So it's given by minus 3 dB. So it's minus 3 dB from the maximum. So the maximum power is 0 dB. Okay, and then alpha S, the stop band gained, you have, for example, negative Y dB. Okay, so the uh, stop band gained will be having the stop band frequency at omega S. And then the cutoff frequency omega c at minus 3 db and then you have omega p the passband frequency in radian per second for the passband gain area okay filter response for the butterworth filter okay so it's flat top no ripples in the passband area so we are we we are using the low pass filter response in this case if you have high pass filter so it looks something like this okay so still flat flat top samples and then you have maximum gain of 1 or 0 db and then you have passband gained and you have the omega p so in um, high pass filter so for high pass filter so you have maximum here is 0 db and then you have passband gained alpha p and you have the omega p and then for high pass filter the stop band gain omega s is the stop band frequency and alpha s is the stop band gain 
and then you have cutoff frequency of omega c at minus 3 dB. So here is omega c and you have, we can call it uh, alpha c or negative 3 dB. Okay, so for the cutoff area. While for the low pass filter, again here is minus 3 dB. So you have the omega c and then alpha s, you have the omega s for low pass filter or for low frequency filter. But for high pass filter, you'll be having the uh, pass band area on the right hand side. Same goes to uh, the Shevich shaft just now. So if you have high pass filter, so the ripples will uh, is occurring at the pass band area on the higher frequency part. Okay, let's look at how to design a Shevich shaft filter. Okay, so these are the processes involved in uh, designing Shavish Chef filter. So the first one, you need to uh, determine the filter specification type of response, whether it is low pass or high pass. Okay, so Shavish Chef, obviously you know that the frequency re response should be having ripples at the pass band area for low pass filter and for the high pass filter will be having ripples as well in the pass band area. Okay, next you need to write down this transfer function. Okay, you'll be having two types of transfer function which are the normalized transfer function given by H and S. So the equation will be provided in the appendix of filter characteristic and another one is the actual or final transfer function given by HS. Okay, this is an example of normalized transfer function and it depends on the filter order number. Okay, if you notice here, you have N, so it depends on the filter order number. And at the bottom, you have the A values. Okay, so A is called coefficients or uh, the numer uh, denominator is called a polynomial. polynomial. Okay, lastly, you need to uh, perform circuit realization. Okay, so the basic structure consists of the source, voltage source, and then you have the um, resistor, constant resistor, and then you have combinations of C and L. Okay, so the number of uh, C and L combinations depends on the filter order number and also the A max value, the ripple magnitude. Okay, these are the same steps as mentioned earlier. So the first step you need to calculate the order number. Okay, in, uh, in order to get the filter specification, you really need to calculate the n in the first place. Okay, so the filter order number. So either is n odd or n even. Okay, and then you need to refer to the appendix again for HN equation, the normalized transfer function. And then, so in order to have normalized transfer function, you also need to refer to specific table to determine the uh, polynomials or the uh, coefficients values. So A1, A0, and so on. Okay, once you have the normalized transfer function, then you need to uh, write down the actual or real transfer function. Okay, so in order to transform the normalized into uh, actual transfer function, you need to refer to transformation table to get the um, transformation equation. And finally, the circuit realization. Okay, the most important part in uh, this chapter, you need to refer to lots of appendices. Okay, so and it depends on types of filter you'll be designing. Okay, for example, if you uh, notice that the fil uh, filter response having a ripple in the passband area, so you know it belongs to Chebyshev. Okay, so you need to refer all equations from Chebyshev. Okay, otherwise, if you have flat top samples, this is for example for high pass filter, flat top samples, so it belongs to Butterworth filter. So you need to make sure that you refer 
to all equations under Butterworth uh, appendices. Okay. Um, so in here we'll be seeing the Mx. Mx only appear in Shavisha because it represents the magnitude of the ripples. Okay, so the epsilon. Okay, epsilon is the ripple factor. You can calculate by using this equation. Okay, so Mx is in dB. So we just put in the dB values, positive dB values, although the value is negative. Okay, same goes to the end, the number of filter order. And this is omega Sn, the frequency, normalized uh, frequency. Uh, and omega Sn is not equal to omega S. So it's different. Okay, so it depends on types of filter you have, whether it's low pass or high pass. So you need to refer to a table to uh, get the actual equation of omega Sn depending on types of filter you have. And um, alpha s, the way stop band gain, and mx is the magnitude of your ripple. So all in dB. Okay, if, for example, mx is given as 1 dB, so we just put in 1 in here. You don't have to convert these dB values into linear. Same goes to the alpha s. If alpha s, for example, minus 30 dB, so we just put in 30 in here. You don't have to consider the negative and also you don't have to convert into linear values. Okay, so please make sure you put all parameters in dB values. Alright, and then omega C is the cut off frequency. Omega P is pass band frequency. Cosh hyperbolic. Cos hyperbolic. Okay, please make sure you calculate properly using your calculator and make sure it is cos hyperbolic and then this is inverse uh, cos hyperbolic cos okay again this is the epsilon is the ripple factor and for shabby chef you have the kn it depends on the filter or the number whether it's odd or even okay same goes to butterworth so in the first part I'll be discussing on Shabishak and the second part in the second part I'll be discussing on Butterworth filter. Okay, these two slides summarizes the um, formula that you will be using uh, throughout the filter design. So you can refer to the appendices for uh, more equations. Okay, after we have uh, determined the normalized transfer function and the actual transfer function. The next step is to design um, the filter circuit for the respective filter. So depending on uh, the question, whether the question asks you to design a, fil a filter circuit or just a trans transfer function. If the question uh, didn't ask for filter circuit, so you can just stop until the actual transfer function so in filter circuit realiza realization so you will be seeing combinations of passive components uh, resistor inductor and capacitor and as mentioned earlier the total of uh, c and l combination dependent on the filter order number and also the uh, ripple magnitude and this is the basic representation of normalized filter circuit. So it consists of the uh, voltage source and then the uh, normalized resistor values. Okay, followed by uh, combinations of C and L. Start begin. Uh, you 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 need to start with C, the capacitor, followed by the uh, inductor, and then continue again with capacitor, inductor, and so on. Okay, so number of C and L combinations dependent on your N, the filter order number, and also the Mx values. Okay, so the circuit need to be terminated by a load represented by the RL. Okay, so in final Chebyshev circuit, you need, you'll be having the same uh, configuration, but all our C and L values will be uh, converted into new values and that's 
formula to calculate the new RCNL values. Okay, as mentioned earlier, uh, this is the uh, general sequence of the uh, filter circuit. So we need to refer to uh, table F.2A or F.2B. Okay, these two tables uh, basically for different Mx value. For F.2A representing the uh, circuit for Mx equal to 0 0.1 dB while the F.2B uh, represents the circuit values for Mx equal to 1 dB. So you need to refer to the correct table. Okay. Okay, this is for example, you have Mx equal to 0 0.1 dB and N equal to 3. So, please look at the table properly. So, for Mx equal to 0 0.1 dB and for N equal to 3. So, you see that you have C1, L2 and C3. Okay, so you need to draw the circuit. So, you have your Vs here. And then you have the normalized resistor given by RS. And then you have the first one must be C. So it is C1. Okay, followed by L2. And you have last one is C3. Okay, that's all the components you have and the circuit must be terminated by RL. Okay, once you have all the parameters in, don't forget to put in all the values in your circuit as well. So Vs depending on the uh, voltage source given to you. So Rs, if it is not given, you can assume Rs equal to 1 ohm. So C1 in this case is one point. 0, 3, 1, 6. The unit is L. And L2 is 1.1474 Henry. And C3 is 1.0316. Alright. So RL dependent on the load given to you. Okay, let's look at an example on Chevy Chef filter design. So design a Chevy Chef low pass filter. Okay, the first case, uh, keyword is low pass filter with the following um, specification. So I recommend you to draw the filter response so that you can see where the alpha p, alpha s, omega p and omega s location or values. So this one in db. So it's Chevy Chef low pass, okay, so low pass filter. So the signal will be having ripples in the pass band area. Okay, and then roll off. Right, so the Mx is 1 dB. So this is your Mx. Okay, Mx for... So here is 0 and here is 1 and then from omega is from 0 until 10. So your omega p equal to 10 radian per second and your omega your alpha p is minus 1. So the passband area. Okay, followed by a stop band, not to exceed these values, so alpha S is negative 30 dB, and for omega S equal to 20 radian per second, and then you have another one, the cutoff frequency this is negative 3 dB and you have your omega C there so which is not given so given RL equal to 100 ohm so you need to find the HS meaning that you need to get the actual transfer function 
meaning and you need to know the H and S first before you can get the actual transfer function. Draw the circuit, meaning that you need to have the final circuit. So you need to have the uh, normalized circuit first and then convert it into the final circuit. Okay, so I would recommend you to draw the filter response. Okay, this mark for steps. Okay, so the first step you need to calculate the filter order number. So this is Chef Chef. So make sure you refer to the correct appendix for Chef Chef filter, and write down the general equation first. Okay, do do not put the any value straight away. Write down the general equation first, then you put in the values in the second equation. Okay, so this is the um, filter response that we have uh, drawn earlier. Right, so please remember you need to use dB values inside your equation. So alpha s equal to minus 30 dB. So ignore the negative. So just put in 30. Okay, and then Mx given as 1 dB. So just put 1. And cos hyperbolic, inverse cos, uh, cos hyperbolic. And then omega s n you need to refer to. A table okay so which table it is it is table f.1 okay and refer to specific type of filter this is low pass filter so omega sn for low pass filter given by omega s over omega p so in this case your omega s is 20 and omega p is 10 so your omega sn is 2 so then put in all values you have into the general equation. Okay, so omega s n equal to 2. And then your uh, alpha s minus 30 dB, you just put positive 30. You don't have to consider the negative. And then mx equal to 1, so you just put 1. Okay, and then you have your n equal to 3.68. You need to round up your n values to the next higher whole number okay even if you have n equal to 3.1 so still your n should be equal to 4 okay if n equal to for example 2.05 still you need to round round it up to the next higher whole number so n equal to 3 so keep that in mind okay once you have the uh, n values so from the earlier calculation, you get n equal to 4. So it is even number. So to write down the equation, the transfer function for Chebyshev filter. So n even number. So you need to calculate the kn values. Okay, because kn is on top, the numerator. So the kn, you can e either use this equation or this one. But in this case, since we have the Mx values, so you can simply use this equation to get the Kn values. So what is A0, A1 and so on? It is the coefficients. So next, you need to refer to table F.4. Okay, for coefficients. Okay, so in this case, the Mx is 1 dB, even as 1 dB. So make sure you refer to the correct one. Okay, it is coefficients for, please look at this column, this one for 0 0.5 and the second row for 1 dB. So make sure you refer to the correct lane. Okay, and in this case, you have your N equal to 4. So please list down all coefficients values before you put in the values into your equation okay because common mistake by students they just put in the first value into the first position second value into the second position and so on but if you look at the uh, sequence the first one is for a naught it's supposed to be at the back that's why i would recommend you to write down your coefficients values first before you put in the values into the equation. So in this case, your Hn, S, 
equal to your Kn is 0 0.24. So you should calculate what is your Kn values. In this case, your N0 equal to 0 0.2756. So 0 0.2756 uh, divided by 10 to the power of your Mx is 1 over 20. You should get 0 0.24. Okay, so 0 0.24 divided by s to the power of n. So s to the power of your highest n is 4. s to the power of 4 plus n minus 1. So your a3, in this case your a3 s to the power of 3 plus a2 s to the power of 2 plus a1 s plus the last one is a0. Okay, now once you have the general equation, then you can put in all coefficients values into the equation. Okay, so put in the coefficients values. So here is 0 0.24 divided by s to the power of 4 plus your A3. So your A3 is 0 0.9528 s to the power of 3 plus dot 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 okay just put in your a values in so this is your normalized transfer function okay once you have your normalized transfer function then you need to write down the final transfer function so depending on the question whether the question only asks you to write the normalized transfer function only or you need to come up with the until final transfer function okay in case of the question asks you to write down the final or actual transfer function so you need to proceed to step 3 okay so this is the normalized transfer function from earlier step so to get the final transfer function you need to refer to table f.5 to get to get the conversion values okay so this is how uh, part of the table f.5 looks like so you need to refer to the uh, correct type of filter. So in this case, we have low pass filter and you need to refer to the transformation equation. So meaning that all S for this particular example, so all S must be replaced by S over omega P. What is omega P? It's the pass band frequency. Okay, so the left hand side for the Chevy Chef while the right hand side as stated is for Butterworth. So in this case we use the Chevy Chef. Okay, so this is for the Chevy Chef transformation. Okay, so all S in your normalized transfer function need to be replaced by a new equation S equal to S divided by omega P. Okay, so in this case, your omega p is 10. So you need to replace all s with s divided by 10. So this is your actual or final transfer function. Okay, next, if the question asks you to uh, provide the normalized circuit, so you need to refer to table f dot to b in this case for mx equal to 1 dB. So again, it depends on your N values and also your Mx values. Okay, so this is how the table F.2B looks like. F.2A is basically for Mx equal to 0 0.1 dB. So in this case, your N equal to 4. So refer to N equal to 4. So you'll we'll see how many components you have in your circuit. So your source and then you have up to L4. So C1, L2, C3 and L4. Don't forget to write down the values in inside your circuit. So you have C1 equal to 4.5699 and then L2 0.5428, C3 6.3680, L4 0 0.3406 and RL as stated in the question equal to 100 O. Oh. So this is the normalized circuit. Okay, you need to represent the uh, sequence and then don't forget to put in the values in your drawing. Okay, lastly, the final step is to represent the final circuit using circuit transformation. 
So you you'll be using the same sequence as the normal uh, as the normalized circuit. Okay. However, you need to calculate uh, the new values of your components. Okay. So in order to get the new uh, values, you need to refer to table F point three circuit transformation. So this is low pass filter. So we have the low pass filter as stated in the question. So your L new will be calculated by using this equation RLP divided by omega C. So LP is your uh, the values in the uh, normalized circuit. Okay, same goes to C. The CP is the values in your normalized circuit. While the R here, so in normalized circuit you have RS, but in final circuit you have R can be calculated by dividing RL divided by RP. So RP values you can get from the uh, earlier table. Alright, so here you'll see that you need to divide your earlier component values with omega C, the cutoff frequency. So you can calculate the omega C by referring to the equation. So it's omega P cross hyperbolic this equation and you have ripple factor can be calculated by using this equation so mx given as 1 db so you just put in 1 so you get the ripple factor equal to 0 0.51 so then you need to calculate your omega c and omega c will be used in your l and c new calculation okay so this is from the normalized circuit so now you need to recalculate your uh, new values of uh, C and L. Okay, same orientation, same number of components. However, you just need to recalculate the uh, new values for your uh, capacitor and inductor. Okay, so this uh, maintain as load. However, here is R equal to RL over RP. Okay, so in this case, your C1 now become C by having conversion of C1 divided by R omega C. So we have calculated omega C in the earlier slide. So this is basically your final circuit or actual circuit of the Chebyshev filter. Now let's look at the second example on Chebyshev filter design. So as uh, mentioned earlier once you have the parameters or specification I will recommend you to draw the filter response so this is the next design is for high pass filter so high pass filter and the specification as listed so you know it is shabby shaft so it has ripples at the pass band area so this is high pass filter with ripples Okay, so Mx values given as 1 dB again, so 1 dB. Okay, so here is your stop band area. So here negative 1 is here is your alpha P, the pass band gain and then you have your alpha s alpha s equal to negative 22 and here is your omega s from 0 to 15 while alpha p you have your omega p equal to 20 Okay, and as usual, you have your negative 3 dB representing the cutoff frequency. Okay, so this is the filter response of high pass filter Chebyshev. And then, as usual, you need to calculate the odd filter order number. So, N. So, omega is N, you need to refer to the table. So, for high pass filter, what's the equation for omega is N? So alpha s given s, so alpha s is negative 22, so you need to replace alpha s with 
22 divided by 10 minus 1. Okay, and Mx given by 1 dB. Okay, so from F1, F.1, so omega Sn for high pass filter is omega P of omega S. So omega P is 20 in this case divided by omega S is 15. Okay, so replace omega Sn with this value. And then, so make sure you do it properly. So 1 over inverse cosh okay write down the general equation first then you put in the values in okay omega p is 20 divided by 15 and then inverse cosh hyperbolic okay 10 to the power of alpha s so alpha s is negative 22 so 22 divided by 10 minus 1 divided by 10 to the power of mx minus 1. Don't forget the square root here. 1 over 2. Okay, you should get your n equal to 4.9. So round it up to the next higher whole number. So n in this case equal to 5. Okay, once you have the n values, so you can write down the transfer function. So for high pass filter, uh, Shavish shall be chef so n is odd so when n is odd kn equal to a naught so where to get the n naught values you need to refer to table f dot four so and don't forget to refer to the correct amx values so in this case your n equal to five so list down please list down all n values all a values before you put in the values into your equation. So this is the normalized transfer function. So your normalized transfer function equal to a naught divided by s to the power of 5 in this case plus a4 s4 plus a3 s3 plus a2 s2 plus a1 as plus a naught okay so write down the general equation before you get your final normalized transfer function okay once you have your normalized transfer function you can get the final transfer function by having some conversion or transformation so please refer to table f.5 okay so this is table f.5 and in this case we have high pass filter so make sure you refer to high pass filter equation for share with chef in this case so s will be replaced by omega p divided by s so your omega p equal to 20 in this case so 20 divided by s so from the normalized transfer function all s must be uh, converted it into omega p over s okay so then you can just leave your answer as uh, as this okay you don't have to calculate the final equation to save time okay next if the question asks you for normalized circuit so again you need to remember your n equal to 5 in this case so mx equal to 1 db so refer to table f dot 2 b for m is equal to 1 db so n equal to 5 then you need to draw the general circuit sequence depending on, on how many components you have so you have your rs we assume it is 1 ohm and then followed by your c1 and then you have l2 And then you have C3 and L4 and C5. Okay, so you have C3, you have L4, and you have C5. Don't forget to terminate your circuit with RL. Okay, finally, you need to put in all values in. So this is VI or VS, the source. 
C1 equal to 2.1349F, L2 1.0911H, C3 3.0098F, L4 10911H, so C5 21349F. And please refer to the question again, what is the RL value? So you need to put, put the values in O. So this is your normalized circuit. Okay, if the question asks you for a final circuit, then you need to do circuit transformation by referring to table F.3 and perform the transformation as shown in the earlier example. Okay, lastly for today's session, let's have another example on Chevy Chef filter design. So please try this out to familiarize yourself with the appendices and tables. Okay, this uh, chapter will be asked in your final exam and it is compulsory for you to answer. So therefore, you need to really focus on the steps, familiarize yourself with the table, make sure you can write down, derive the equation and put in the correct values depending on the uh, specific type of filters. Okay, with that, I end the session today. Thank you.